Hello guys, this is Al from Open Source Channel. Welcome to a new episode. Today we're going to talk about Casa OS. You can find all the information in the description below. The website is casaos.io and with a single line I'm going to show you how to install on a Ubuntu server. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to click on the bell icon so you get notified every time I make new videos. So as you can see it's also compatible with Raspberry Pi and many x86 devices. It's based on Docker and with a single line as I, as I already told you we're going to install it on a VPS. I'm going to use putty again all the information in the description below I'm going to log in into my VPS I'm going to accept the certificate and I'm going to log in with my credentials once I log in I'm going to start the update to see if there is any update it's important to do updates every time before you start installing anything on Ubuntu server or actually on any server to be honest so I just put my login and my password and I'm inside the Ubuntu I'm running the version 18 rather than 20 again I can do a do release upgrade as you can see below the actual screen there but I'm not, I'm not going to do this now I'm just going to install on top of Ubuntu 18 so I'm going to do sudo app apt update I'm going to add my password here and if there is any anything to be updated you can run sudo apt upgrade but as you can see all the up, uh, the packages are up to date I'm going to copy this code also in the description below but you can find information on casaos.io you can just join the discord if you want to you can interact with other people so you can learn a lot more about casa os let's go back to the SSH using putty and I just paste it but I'm going to do it in you know using so, uh, root rather than my normal login so I'm going to do sudo su I just have to do it again my server crashed so as you can see sudo su and again I'm going to do it in my HAL directory there just paste it and press enter and just wait until the installation is done here I'm going to say okay and I'm going to add after as you can see later the domain that I'm going to use as the mail server configuration for my configuration I'm going to use internet site but you want to you know make sure you do the correct one for whatever you you know whatever you install in uh, OS Casa again if you do local installation you might want to use local only again more information on the Casa OS.io website now I'm going to put down the mail name and I'm going to put my domain open source channel dot uk this is what I'm going to use I'm going to press ok and I'll let it go this is what it's all about simply need to wait until the installation is done and as you can see here we have the installation that has been completed so we have the the IP address and that's all we need to get started again if you have a, like I have already as my previous tutorial I can actually get redirected the actual IP to my domain or vice versa for the actual domain to the IP and this is what I'm going to show you in a minute now it's not coming up I think I made a mistake there let me have a look yes I put HTTPS but in the beginning it's HTTP as it was there now you can actually go and start the further the installation again I'm going to show you now you can actually access through my domain as well using HTTPS in this case it's using the Cloudflare SSL certificate so I press go and I'm going to create a new account and I'm going to add the password again this is just for demonstration only again make sure you have a strong username and also a strong password once has been done I'm going to click create and all things is done and everything has been set up properly and here we got the dashboard for Casa OS now let's go back here let me close it so we're going to do everything with the actual domain address let me show you as well the certificate that is from Cloudflare as you can see here so everything is secured again it's viable that you go after and change the settings and create also in docker a certificate so you can use it in that way as well but anyway it is 
you know, from the browser to the server, it is encrypted with the actual certificate. Here you can change the search engine, uh, the type you want, the language. Uh, again, the web UI port is set to 80, but uh, you know, to be honest, I will set for something else if you want to do it, you know, if you really want to use it live. All right. Again, here you can have the, the terminals, the, the logs and many other things. All right. So once I've clicked the X, you can install application. Again, I'm going to do uh, in the future tutorial also based on Casa OS and I'm going to show you how to install applications manually as well. It comes with a few applications. Uh, for example, the, for smart homes, you get the next cloud, you got the Syncin, Pi All, Plex, Radar, QTorrent, again, uh, and many others as well that comes with the actual Casa OS. Here you can install the manual, and I'm going to show you that in the future. All you got to do, just click install, and it's automatically done for you. And you can have here all the categories, and everything is done automatically. It's very simple to use, very simple to navigate. It's just so much really information and you know, it's not even a big menu. The settings are very minimal. So it is great to get started if you really want to learn more about Docker as well. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this small tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, what I'm going to do in the future, I'm removing all the affiliates from my uh, channel because I want to do affiliate free. So I'm still going to do other, you know, um, collaborate with companies, but is going to be automatically no affiliates. The first one to go, it will be Cloudways. I'm not going to uh, promote any of these companies. So, you know, using affiliate, I'm still doing it, but without affiliates. Anyway, guys, thanks so much, and I'll see you next time.